Hi, Tyle from Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about uh, quite an unusual headphone. This is the ZMF Headphones Icon. It's a $1,299 sealed headphone uh, from Zach Marbeck over at uh, ZMF Audio. These are basically handmade headphones. Zach, for a long time, has been making modified T Fostex T50RP headphones and uh, recently ventured out on his own finding drivers that he would like. He spent a lot of time looking for the drivers in these headphones. Um, these use a, a micro uh, biocellulose fiber diaphragm, so it looks quite a bit like a speaker in there with a, a rubber surround around it. Um, that's a, a type of head uh, diaphragm that was in the original Sony R10 and it was in the uh, uh, the uh, Denon D5000 line of headphones and um, it's in the uh, uh, AudioQuest Nighthawk. Um, and I've, as I've heard these uh, uh, biocellulose uh, fiber diaphragms, I've always felt that they had a lot of promise. They, there's something very um, clean and articulate and not raspy or harsh about them. And, uh, and these headphones are no exception. <clears throat> Um, the headphone uh, build wise is built extremely uh, beautifully and durably. They have a, a sliders here that go in and out of, the, uh, of this headband end piece swivel that is uh, quite stiff. It's quite hard to move and then it stays uh, nicely in place when it is um, adjusted. The uh, headband spins freely on that adjustment and has gimbal adjustments here. Uh, it fits nice on the head. The headband pad is um, sort of a suspension in between the, the main part of the pad arch and then this suspension arch. And this uh, inner pad is just ever so slightly smaller than the, the top one. So it really fits and conforms nicely um, on the top of your head. So even though these are fairly heavy headphone, I found that they were surprisingly comfortable to wear. Um, the ear pads are, are beautiful uh, lamb glove skin, uh, glove soft leather, very, very nice over very ample pads. The uh, ear cup is quite large, almost 70 by 50 millimeters, I guess it was almost, uh, and quite deep. My ears don't touch anywhere internally. Um, the cables are removable uh, on mini XLRs on the, uh, from the bottom of the cups, so you can swap cables out. There are multiple cable options uh, when you purchase the headphones. Uh, for example, here is a, um, the XLR 4-pin uh, cable for balanced operation. These cables are uh, compatible with the Odyssey pinouts, so you can use any cable that you can use on an Odyssey headphone. Um, now I'm going to show you, I'll show you a couple of pictures inside the driver. I'm just going to uh, put them in here and you can see that one of the things that's unusual about this headphone is there's quite a bit of damping internally. Most headphone makers don't put this much damping inside headphones uh, and uh, Zach having spent a lot of time modifying headphones knows the advantage of that. You can see here there's um, when I take the larger bits of damping out there, you can see there's also damping uh, on top of the driver housing itself and then around the circumference of the inside of the wood cup and then at the bottom of the wood cup to break up um, resonances and the like. So this headphone really has been damped um, quite well. There's no damping in front of the driver. Uh, there's, there is just a very thin um, screen right here uh, in front of the driver. There's a there's a, a grill in front of the driver and then there's this um, fabric screen which is just part of the ear pad. <clears throat> the sound of these headphones is uh, a little warm. It's This is a warmish headphone. Um, it has a, a um, just an overall general warm tilt and then uh, in the presence region is a little less accentuated so it is a little veiled sounding in the presence region and there's a little bit of a notch uh, up between uh, 6 and 9k or thereabouts that takes a bit of sparkle off things. Um, uh, so it's a warm headphone with a little bit of unevenness in the treble that in the end causes it to sound just a little bit veiled. Um, however, it's a very, 
I don't, I don't know exactly how to put this um, because it's not particularly even sounding. It's a little bit uneven sounding. It's a, it's not perfectly tight. It's not doesn't have a deep and wide imaging. The imaging is good, but it's not great. But the the, the thing is, is that the overall impression of these headphones is is a very very friendly and um, pleasing listening experience it's just a, a pleasant headphone to listen to and you know the longer I spent listening to it the harder it was to switch back to other headphones to have a listen to those for example I tried the Focal Utopias which of course is an unfair open four thousand dollar headphone against these and it was obvious that they were had significantly better dynamic punch and, and significantly uh, more precise imaging uh, and significantly more resolve and articulation li liquid clarity sort of being an open headphone they had more sense of openness and depth of course um, so that was kind of a, an unfair comparison but I have to say that when I did that comparison I also found that I felt like I'd lost some warmth those headphones sounded sort of uh, um, analytical is maybe too strong a word uh, they sounded less humane they, they were just not as organic or something um, so these headphones have this this very pleasant character when I when I compared them to the Oppo PM3 uh, which is a great little headphone it's got a, a fairly steeply rolled off top octave octave and a half and um, I, I felt that this headphone the the uh, icon was um, a little less colored sounding as a result it certainly has these colorations of its own that I mentioned but but the Oppo has that really rolled off top that that to me is more apparent even after you've accommodated for the headphones for a while so uh, of course it's a much less expensive headphone so a little bit unfair there the, the more fair comparisons is the icon against the mr speakers ether c and ether c flow both of which are on the wall of fame both of which i like but both of which are a little on the bright side they they both seem to lack a little bit of weight in the base and um, the the uh, Ether C more so than the Ether C flow, and the Ether C flow seems a bit uneven sounding compared to the Ether C. It, it lacks a little refinement in comparison to my ears. I felt both of them were a more neutral and more articulate headphone than the Icon. I do think the colorations in the Icon did get in the way of them feeling like they had the resolve and they had the characteristics of a reference level headphone um but again they were um as pleasant to listen to maybe more so for the long run i mean i really don't have the luxury of spending a week listening to this headphone and a week listening to the ether to see which one was really more pleasant over the course of a week but i can easily imagine that it would be the icon because it's just so comfy and and cozy to listen to so this is a, a an extremely loving he lovely headphone i i need to add that this is a 300 ohm headphone so one of the things in particular about this headphone is if you're a tube amp lover and, and you've got some high impedance tube amps, this is an absolutely great headphone to explore tube amplifiers with because it's it's just ideally matched for uh, especially OTL tube amplifiers. And um, I, I just have a bottlehead crack in the house as a, as a tube amp and I did hook it up to these and it did... Um, create a little more magic to the sound the bass was a little a little looser a little too looser but i mean it's a bottlehead so it's not all that great an amplifier um a bottlehead crack but um but the treble range did seem to somehow liven up and take on this uh, a more musical and cheerful kind of character so um it, it was fun to to listen to the bottlehead crack on these headphones so I, I highly encourage you uh, if you're in the market for a true enthusiasts sealed headphone that will pair well with a bunch of tube amplifiers this would really be at the top of my list for that kind of use and if you're filling out um, a good collection of headphones and and want another classic this is 
um, certainly I think uh, amongst the, the 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 really lovely performers of uh, of uh, uh, expensive sealed headphones although I don't think it quite has the resolve um, of the two ethers I, I if you were only getting one I would probably get one of the ethers um, but it's a tough decision because they all have their imperfections so so ZMF Audio's uh, Icon at $12.99 is an absolutely beautiful headphone it comes in either cherry or um, I can't remember the name Paduk Paduk either Cherry or Paduke. And um, I hope you get a chance to listen to one real soon. It's worth uh, going out of your way just a little bit to get a, a taste of uh, one of these new ZMF icons. All right, we'll see you guys next time.